Okay, uh, welcome back to Chemistry. So um, I'm asking you this week to go through and be able to write out a few of these reactions. I'm going to give you some word problems like this. So I want to be able, I need to be able to describe things in text and have you understand what that means. So one way of doing that is to have you translate the text into a chemical equation. So let me go through. I'm going to do a couple of examples. We'll see how long, see how far I get in a few minutes. So um, these are from your homework. So if you watch this video and then write this down, you're getting some real homework done. How easy is that? Lanthanium 141. So I'm going to write this one down so I don't make silly mistakes. Uh, Lanthanium 144 goes into cerium 144 when it undergoes beta decay. Okay, I don't remember the symbols for these, so let's look it up. You have a periodic table, might as well use it. So, um, lanthanium, so there it is, it's number 57, so a symbol is LA. And it has 57 protons. Uh, this is going to turn into cerium. Uh, cerium. So uh, this probably just one away. Yep, there it is. Cerium has 58. And that's CE. CE. And it has 58 nuclear, um, uh, protons in this nucleus. Okay. Um, let's see if we can draw a, a reaction from this. So let's use what we know. So uh, lanthium-144. So let me write this out cleanly. So I'm going to have lanthium which has to have 57 protons, has a mass of 144. This is going to produce uh, cerium, CE58, and they tell me it has a mass of 144, plus a beta particle. So a beta particle is going to be this thing, which is an electron, but an electron that comes from the nucleus. So notice it should work out, right? So I start with 144, I end with 144, I start with 57, my total at the end adds up to 57 as well. Okay, so beta particles are negative, so I've generated a proton. Okay, let's do one more. Um, where, did my, where did it go? So, uh, Neptunium. Neptunium 233 is formed when americium 237, 237 undergoes a nuclear decay process. Now tell me, it's gonna be one, alpha, beta, gamma. Let's figure it out. So uh, here we go. So I'm gonna to go to the periodic table. I'm gonna look up Neptunium, Neptunium. Uh, where's Neptunium? Uh, here's americium. So americium is 95. It has symbol of AM. And Neptunium is gonna be nearby. So there it is, Neptunium 93. Notice the parentheses around the mass there. That means it's unstable, so radioactive. So Neptunium is NP, and it has uh, atomic number of 93. I mean, it has 93 protons. All right, let's write it out. So this is what I know. So I'm going to take um, Amer. Uh, what did I say? Which comes from which? Yeah, it must be uh, Americium turns into an Neptunium. So I'm going to start with Americium. And it has to have 95. They tell me it has a mass of 237. So, and this is going to turn into Neptunium NP93 with a mass of 233 plus something else. Well, let's figure out what it is. So I start with a mass of 237. I'm left with a mass of 233. So it leaves me four mass units to deal with. I start with 90, a charge of 95. I end with a charge of 93 here, so I must have two here. And there's only one particle that has a mass of four and a charge of two. This is my helium nucleus or alpha particle. There we go. That's a decay reaction for uh, americium. So this is using smoke detectors. Uh, so if you look in your smoke detector at home, probably has a tiny bit of americium there. Uh, don't go looking for it. Um, and it throws out alpha particles, which are not particularly dangerous. Anyway, uh, I hope you can do the rest on your own. Let me know if you can't, and I'm happy to help you. Talk to you soon. Bye.